So just as we're loading up, Holly informs me that Crescent Moon has pink eye. So it looks like she's going to have to stay home for another couple days and take care of the baby, who coincidentally is 22 years old. Don't you wish your kids took medicine that Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Illuminate my future brand, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenate in my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embrace life, and all the way you gave me. I work it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a day and leave. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave. Never leave, but that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me, I said he saw me on TV. So when I got on board, I was checking my new Dyneema lines for stretch, and there wasn't any, but then I noticed my boat's sitting awful low in the water. So I headed back to the stern, took the dinghy cover off, and saw this. The entire dinghy was full with water. I'm really surprised my davits didn't snap. So, T minus 23 hours till charter, and Get on board. We had to shut the freezer down. Now we're pulling a vacuum trying to get freezer back working. The air conditioning has completely frozen over, which is now pissing water into the alcohol slash excess toilet paper thing. I have frozen stuff still in here, what I could not put in Mima's. My freezer down there is just now coming up to temperature. The beverage fridge was off, just now coming up to temperature. So yeah. It seemed like just, everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Um, maybe you need to uh, rub on this Grigory for a second. Doesn't seem to be working out for you. <laughs> so with 101 things to do to get ready before this charter, well, I decided it was time to go ahead and put up our new sail from Calvert Sails. This thing is awesome. We purchased this sail from Calvert Sails. So when I tell you this sail holds its shape really well in low wind, it's not because I was paid to do so. This is a great sail, and I want to thank all the folks over at Calvert Sails for getting it over to us as quickly as they did. So while I was running around trying to button the boat back together, Holly started provisioning and getting us ready to head out for our next charter. But as Sister. usual, we got the boat put back John, in shape Brenda, before our guests arrived. Goose, aka Goose. Teresa. Goose. We have yet to introduce you to them because. Well, because we I have too lazy to pick up a camera, and so is that one. So bright and early the next morning, we struck out for Key Biscayne, where we would spend our first night at Stadium. And after a day of sailing, and we rolled into port to see Virgin's new Virgin Voyages. We were also excited to get our first look at the Chance Wheel at Bayside Park in Miami. Our favorite thing about anchoring in Miami is how the city comes to life at night. On our second day, we headed from Miami down to Key Largo through the Biscayne National Park. Then jumped over from Card Sound to Hawks Channel at Swan Key. On our way south, we stopped by Dry Rocks for some snorkeling with the Jesus statue. And as the winds and the waves picked up, we ducked in behind Rodriguez for the night. This is a great anchorage as it provides protection from just about all winds. And the next morning, with the winds and waves not wanting to cooperate, we ran around through Snake Creek to an anchorage just off Windley Key, where our favorite sports bar, the Ocean View, is. Now, while it is a local hangout, Lars and his group of scallywags are always a lot of fun. But I think the nicest thing is, you are anchored right off the bar. With the wind on her tail and following seas, it was time to put out the whopper and dart for Marathon. So on our leopard, in order to hoist the spinnaker, we use a spinnaker halyard. It's a halyard that's made just to do this. Holly runs it to the rear and uses the electric winch and hoists it to the top of the mast. Now once it's up, we have what I call the fluff at the bottom, 
and I will attach both port and starboard clue attachments to the front of the boat. So while I'm setting the uh, spinnaker, Holly's taking the slack out of the uh, jib sheet lines, and then I will pull the sock. Pulling the sock's really easy. There's two ropes. One makes the sock go, sock go up. One makes the sock come down. Try not to let the sock get above any shackles or any metal pieces up there, or it'll get hung and not want to come down. I've done that before. So our winds were really variable, so I went ahead and released the port bow uh, roller and let her go all the way out so she's pulling from the rear of the boat. That gives her a lot more swing. And of course it always helps to have a lending hand from a great crew. Let's just talk about our trip thus far. So we've been, what are we, four days in? Yeah. Day yeah, four. We're four days in. We're and self quarantined. Yes, we're we're self uh, contained oh, yes. from the coronavirus. And we're on our way to Key West. And everything is shutting down. Yes, and we're on our way to Key West, and it's being it's closed down. down as we speak. So we're we are we are drinking our sorrows away. Here's. <laughs> Some um, winter and Patron, and these are Stifler. <laughs> we thought, hey, and that's, was it gonna and that's Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom. <laughs> It's I've all been, about the I've been waiting to hear that right? for a year. Brent, Brent and I were on the way here. We're like, how long do you think it's going to take before oh, Stifler oh no. comes out? I got that a year ago. <laughs> yes. I looked at it and I'm, I'm like, like Stifler. Sti oh my God, we're going to have Stifler's mom. America Pie. It's Stifler. It's Stifler. I'm like, say that. that's no fun. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. So, so we. My son watched. American Pie for the first time. He's like, oh my gosh. Oh, you're Stifler's mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What was her name? And we've been playing. playing what's the name of this game we're playing? Hmm. Farkle. 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 We've a dice game. Farkle. Farkle with. The thump. Farkle with, uh, Farkle with uh, the Kurt's Kurt new twist. Kurt twist. Yeah. Head out tomorrow. Um, we're gonna meet up with these two as they paddleboard. Out That's right. Sea. And we're paddleboard now. We're gonna pick them up on the way out. Yep. yep. We're gonna Seven lead them out of the yep. canal, right? Yep. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Just yep. make sure you don't make a left. At the canal that we came in on. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're that's we're not out. leaving the same way we if came that's in. That's the way John told you to go. You may want to check out your relationship with your husband. <laughs> so Publix is right there, the you won't even have and they're signal. completely <laughs> out of <laughs> limes <laughs> and chicken. Well, and of course, toilet thing. paper. All right. Yeah, thanks for I thought it sounded good. Closing though. early also. And they closed you early. Get money transferred before they couldn't get leave. alcohol. We we're trying to provision, not for food, not for extra food for the but coronavirus. For alcohol. But for alcohol, because they're afraid they're going to run out of alcohol. This is the best place to be. This, yes. This it was. And we were talking that, self quarantine. Yes, we we're self quarantine. And since every time somebody sneezes, a thousand <laughs> people shit themselves, <laughs> there's no toilet paper in Publix. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. So today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. You should have known when that was. And um, just had a nice paddle boarding and snorkel at Bahia Honda. And now we are heading towards Key West, I'm stopping at Cudjo tonight. And just received word that it, as of 5 o'clock this afternoon, all Key West bars and restaurants are shut down. Um, so, I guess having paid to stay three extra days at Doc, <laughs> so they could experience Key West and all it has to offer are a little bit disappointed, as are we. So, um, you know, everybody's kind of in the same boat, no pun intended. World is getting shut down before them, and it's uh, got a deal. Since I had my hands full and couldn't pick up the camera, would you like to tell me why there's a salty spinnaker on the deck? 
I didn't even get in trouble. It's <laughs> cool. Yep, it's all good. Just got a little bit wet coming in. But thanks to my trusty crew, nobody got injured. Quarantine crew. The quarantine crew. <laughs> After lunch and a little bit of snorkeling at Bahia Honda State Park, we headed over behind Deer Key and Ramrod. We're going to try out this new anchorage over there. It looks pretty calm. July 28th, 2018, after martinis. After martinis. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> and just for fun, we had fun the other night on Brenda's behalf. Yes. And we got to get there. Brenda's Good thing you didn't say anything incriminating. Right now. Everybody's trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> there she is. There she is. <laughs> As we were leaving the next morning, we saw this uh, cool seaplane leaving Little Munson Island. So I decided to do some checking on the history of this little island. This island has quite the past, but the Cliff Note version, some of my favorites, is the movie PT-109 was shot here in 1962. The movie was about John Fitzgerald Kennedy, a United States Navy recruit, supposedly in the Solomon Islands in 1943, reporting for duty. Fast forward to the late 80s, where the island was sold once again to make a new resort out of it called Little Palm Island Resort and Spa. And what I could see from the water, let me just tell you, this place looks absolutely amazing. Maybe one day Holly and I will get to stay here. As our charter was wrapping up, it was time to head back down to the Key West Anchorage. Going into Key West Port. Spring break. Dead. No ships. No people on the shore. No bars open. Dead. Nobody on Mallory Square. Freaking dead. We're just trying to write names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why I said holy. We're in fucking trouble. Where's that yellow pad? He's a little slow. I think we better help you. Um, Neil, to you, Brenda. 1450 with two. 15, oh shit! Pulling into the galleon this year, things were just not right. There was absolutely no one on the streets, very few cars. It was really, really a pathetic sight. Sorry folks, we're closed for two weeks to clean and repair America's favorite family fun park. Sorry! <laughs> What? <laughs> Island Dog is one of our favorite hangouts. Just going down to the marina, we be here often and uh, everything. But in true fashion, we tried to make the best out of what we had. But I have never seen Key West like this, nor do I ever want to see it like this again. Now you have to remember at this point, it's still legal to wander about. But most of what you saw on the street was locals and a few stragglers that hadn't gotten flights out yet. While looking around, you couldn't help but to wonder how some of these merchants were going to stay in business. Especially with the rent around here. March 20th. Walking the dogs. I <laughs> <laughs> That's you know your life is good when you got a flip-flop tan. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully still seeing in April is the Wahlburgers. Have you guys ever eaten at a Wahlburgers? No. no. God, it's really good. It's owned by uh, Mark and Donnie and what's the other brother's name? Wahlberg. Wahlberg. So after our fun-loving jaunt with the girls, we decided it was time to take a dip in the pool. One of our favorite things about staying at the Galleon is you can, well, wander upstairs and um, watch the sunset from their observation deck. It's absolutely an amazing sight up here. 
Don't forget to join us next week as we run rampant through the streets of Key West. We have one last night of partying with our guests, and then we head back home. <laughs>